Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master from www.bpfs, that's bravo, papa, foxtrot, sierra, hyphen, online, dot com. In this video and in the next video, I'm going to show you how you allocate payments and receipts to invoices. So invoices you've raised to customers and also purchase invoices. Um, I receive quite a few questions about this when I go sales training at people's premises but also I've received some questions lately via email um, people asking about this um, so first of all let's do customers first so invoices we've raised um, and allocating payments to them um, when I say payments receipts from customers so let's go to the bank module click customer the customer we're going to use to demonstrate this is A1 Design Services. Let's bring them up. Put today's date in. These are all the outstanding invoices on their account. If you look under type, it says SI. That is a sales invoice. If it's an SA, then it's a payment on account that hasn't been allocated to an invoice, but we'll come to that a bit later on. Um, so first of all, let's look at the very basics. If we get a payment for an invoice, um, say it was on the 10th, it's a few days ago, we click on the amount, um, and let's look down here. So they paid the oldest invoice, let's click on receipt. If we click, and click pay in full, We'll put £120 receipt there, £120 in amount there. If we then click save, it will mark that invoice as paid and it won't show up as outstanding anymore. So that's invoice 123. Let's save that. Click yes. Let's bring up their account again. And you'll see that invoice 123 has now gone because it's not outstanding anymore. Okay, so what happens if you get a payment for multiple invoices, say a couple of invoices or, or three invoices? Let's put another date in, say this was the 12th this time. We do the same thing as before, but we just do it twice. Um, so 127, they paid that one, so paying four, and they paid this next one too, 129, click paying four. So that together, the total here is 1260. Automatically puts 1260 in the amount up here. You could put a reference in, say it was a check, check, put a check number in, click save, click yes, and that's done. Let's bring them up again, put another date in, so this was yesterday. So, what happens if you don't get um, specific amounts that match invoices, P perhaps they just give you £800 um, and you know just a set amount like that, what do you do? Well put 800 up here, if you click automatic make sure the invoice is already in date order, if they're not click date you know, put them in order like so, um, say it was a BAX if you click automatic then you'll allocate £800 to their account starting from the oldest invoice. So you'll see that it's paid the £600 in full, it's paid the £24 in full, and then the next oldest invoice is the 11th for the 5th, which is £300, and it's put £176 against that one. Okay, because obviously the 800 isn't enough to cover all three. If we then click save, click yes their account again you'll see that that invoice that was 300 is now 124 because the 176 has been deducted and the 124 is now outstanding okay so let's put today's date so we got another payment today and um, this time we'll do a payment on account just to show you how to allocate that at a further time um, so say we, re we received 424 pounds by cash from this um, this customer obviously you you'd want to highlight the petty cash account if it's a cash payment all these payments are going through the bank current account you can change that up here um, 
so let's do that actually I was just gonna do cash as an example but I'll show you how to change the bank account so bank accounts up here let's do petty cash okay so we received 424 pounds this time don't allocate it against anything don't click automatic don't click pay in full just click save it will ask you if you want to put it on account click yes click yes again load up the module again the sort of customer and you'll see that that 424 pounds is there as a payment on account and it's an SA so you may load up an account um, for a customer or supplier and there's a number of these payments on accounts that haven't been allocated all you do is put the date in and let's use today's date um, the date you want to allocate these payments click pay in full of the payment on account and then pay that in full for the invoices that they match up to so that £424 was those two oldest invoices there, the 124 and 300 um, and you'll see that it shows a zero and that shows a zero if we didn't match them up um, you'll see there's a minus 300 it, it shows you the you have money still to, to match hopefully that makes sense um, so £424 against those two click save bring up there account again and there's just that one remaining invoice hopefully that has made sense um, if not get in contact with me I'll do another video now demonstrating the same thing but on supplier accounts um, and supplier payments and invoices thank you so much for watching